you are probably asking yourself, do I go OLED 3.5K? Do I go 4K, true ultra high def? But it's an IPS panel. Dark blacks, not so dark blacks, but higher reds. Higher contrast ratio, not so much higher contrast ratio. One of the things that's really surprised me as I've compared these two screens side by side is just how good the 4K screen looks. I was not expecting the 4K regular IPS panel to look anywhere near as impressive as it did. And as you're looking at this footage and you're seeing these comparisons, I'm not gonna tell you which one's which because they're closer than you would think. Certainly in real life, and I'm hoping it translates on the screen as you are looking at the laptops. I didn't know which one was which as I was recording it. And I did that on purpose, you know, mixing them up as I was walking over to my table because I wanted to see, could I really see a noticeable difference? And honestly, on some of these images, I've got a selection of images here that you can look at. It was, it was pretty close, okay? There's definitely a, a little bit of a better black contrast on the OLED, which is what we would expect. Now, we're not talking about gaming. We're not talking about refresh rates. I'm just trying to show you how magnificent the screens look so that you can see them side by side and try and make some determination for yourself which way you want to go. Something that did stand out is the 3.5K comes in with a 250% scaling set as default. I didn't like that. Everything was huge. I'm 40s, you know, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. So my eyes were pretty good, but they're not as great as they used to be in my 20s and my 30s. The 4K scaling definitely seemed to sit better for me. I think it was 225%. The OLED was bigger and I actually turned it down. I actually turned it down to 200. And that was a sweet spot for me and felt very comfortable when I was working. Obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on your eyesight and, and how you feel comfortable, how far you sit from the screen, all that kind of fun stuff. But I just thought it was interesting it came at 250% out of the box. As you're looking at these, I'm also going to throw in a MacBook Pro. I've got a 14-inch MacBook Pro here in the studio right now. And I think Apple makes some of the most beautiful screens that you will ever see. Yet, when I put it next to the Dell XPS 15, 4K or OLED, doesn't really make any difference. All the screens on full brightness. It was again, incredibly surprising to me how bad the Apple screen looked compared to the other two. Now, before y'all hate on me, I'm not saying the Apple screen's a bad screen, okay? It's a great screen and it looks awesome. I just didn't expect it to look so different than the Dells. They're all set on full brightness, so there was no shenanigans there about which one's gonna be better. Obviously, the battery life on the Apple is gonna be just a little bit better, so I can't fix that for you. But here, check out these images as we're showing them to you. See what you think. Make some determinations for yourself. And at the end, I'm gonna flash up and show you which is the 4K and which is the OLED. So you're gonna to have to watch a little bit more to figure this out. I'm not gonna spoil the thunder for you. And while you're watching these, let me take a minute and say thank you to all you nice YouTubers that leave nice comments. You know, I'm just trying to figure out how to build a channel here, doing the best I can with the gear that I've got. If I wanna give you real world reviews that matter. And some of you all have been just so kind and so nice with your comments, so encouraging. It really does mean the world to me, TJ, my filming guy who works in the studio with me. Like we appreciate that stuff. So, you know, if you wanna say nice things, don't think it goes unnoticed, it really does. And, uh, and you guys are amazing. And thank you for everybody who's been subscribing. If you haven't already, make a point and hit that subscribe button. So did you guess correctly? Is it what you were thinking for the, for the 4K over here on this side and the OLED on this side? I don't know, I gotta tell you. In real life, some of those images were very, very close. I mean, you are nitpicking if you think, oh, okay, I'm gonna go OLED versus the 4K. I don't think you're gonna be unhappy with either one of those screens. I think they're both gonna look magnificent. Remember that the 4K is better on battery life. It draws less power, and people still do have a concern about OLEDs and the burn-in when you've got static images for a long amount of time. So if you are hesitant, about battery life and about screen burn, I would say absolutely you wanna go with the 4K. You won't be disappointed, you're not missing out. The screen is, is phenomenal. 
it still looks better than Apple screen. And they made a big song and dance about this Pro XDR caliber, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's brighter. It's nicer. And this again is where the specs on paper don't always tell the whole story. Because when you look at the specs on paper of these three screens, they are much more different than you might expect. Yet when you look at them in person, you see those specs don't translate with brightness, you know, with color depth and those kind of things. If you just love OLED, which I do, and you love those inky, inky blacks and a really deep contrast, then yes, it's definitely there. It definitely looks a little bit better. The color accuracy, from what I can tell, is supposed to be a little bit better on the OLED versus the 4K, but again, we're splitting hairs here, folks. These are beautiful screens. You're not gonna be disappointed. Let me know which Dell XPS you go for. If you haven't already, check out the full review. I've got that up as well. And I've got an interesting one coming up soon. So I'm not gonna spoil the teaser for you, but it's something you were never gonna expect. You wouldn't even think you would find it on a tech channel, but I think you, my viewers, might enjoy it. So part one is gonna drop later this week and part two is gonna drop in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned for that. Till next time, let's go out there and be amazing.